What is up guys, it's me Bean here and welcome to a new video. Now this is an old laptop of mine and it's got, uh, it, it's been, it's been beat up pretty hard but one thing I definitely want to do to give it a new life is restore it but um, Samsung, they used to have this thing called Samsung Recovery Solution on these laptops um, and once you delete them they're such a pain I mean they're there for a reason but sometimes it accidentally does get deleted in this case we were having some problems we gave it in and my dad knew a friend and he just deleted the whole thing so I'm gonna I, I'm here to show you guys how to get that back after a bunch of years of searching around how to do it I'm not gonna make it too long I'm, I just found this forum where uh, someone was having the same problem as us and Samsung what they used to do was a it was a really handy feature they used to let you make a backup of the recovery on a USB drive now that's called the Samsung recovery admin tool and um, what they did was they put up links to download it and then it's as an ISO and all you do is just burn it onto a USB drive, stick it in and then just reinstall the whole partition, uh, the recovery solution. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, I'm going to split this video into two parts. So this video is just going to show you how to make the admin tool. And then the next video is showing you how to reinstall the recovery solution. Then re uh, reinstall Windows, restore the whole laptop. Because this thing actually does need a restore. It's pretty slow. It's, it's really piss taking. Um, but without any rambling... Um, let's get started so the first thing you definitely want to do before any of this before thinking about restoring your laptop is back up everything that you feel is important like everything that's whether to cloud storage or physical media like a USB drive or a hard drive but I've moved everything over to that external hard drive so I'm good to go all I gotta do is re uh, restore now for your USB um, this admin tool is actually very very you know um, small in size it's, it's it only takes about a couple hundred megabytes but I think two gigs at most is all right I'm just using a 16 gig one because that's all I have 16 gigs is literally like you know a ton you don't need it but you know four gigs two gigs it's fine anyways I'm going to be leaving a link in the description for it for the for the forum so you want to go to this website and uh, yeah as you can see a lot of other people are having the same problem as me here's a recovery solution uh, you know when you use it so here are the links to you know the download here is a Samsung recovery solution for uh, in Korean if you got like an older laptop from probably like 2009 or something and here's like for the Windows 8 uh, Samsung recovery laptops so that's like you know 2012 onwards now this laptop came out in 2011 and it's it came out with Windows 7 and it, it came with Samsung recovery solution 5 so what you want to do is go over to this website uh, go over to this first link the mega link and now after it loads up it will give you all of the yeah as you can see uh, here's admin tool USB 3.0 so Samsung recovery solution 3 for old laptops like 2008-2009 here's 4.0 and here's 5.0 what I need and also he's uh, 6.0 so you don't need to go over here um, you can just go over to the mega link download whichever one you need now I've already got the uh, Samsung recovery solution 5 downloaded uh, what you also want to do is have an ISO application ready so I'm using ultra ISO you could also use Nero or any others I'm just using ultra ISO here so we want to do first is plug in your plug in your USB and format it um, again back up everything on here it will all get deleted alright so I just I just named it admin tool uh, so I know which USB I'm using and load up IS or Ultra ISO. I'm just uh, using the trial version here, but just continue to try. And now um, here's your USB drive. Your letter will be different depending on you know how your computer is. Just look for your USB drive. Now go over to where you have downloaded the ISO. Also, you need to extract it just so you know. Yeah, here we go. So here's the here's the files now. Some recovery solution. Yep. Uh, what you guys want to do here is it will be in three parts. So just highlight all of them, extract them, and you should be good to go. Now here's your admin 
your uh, ISO. Yeah, it's just making some random sounds. So I'm just gonna turn the sound down. So what I'm gonna do now is open up your ISO. I've already done this before, so here we go. And now uh, you've got the contents loaded. So what you guys need to do is literally just go up to the top here where it says bootable and then do just write in disk image. Now it will ask you for permission, so just go on yes. And now you'll get this window. So you'll just get this window here. Now it will tell you what windows you're using. And also here is a disk drive. So this is where you want to install on. If by default it will obviously select the USB drive. Uh, my one is uh, the letter G. It should be default USB dash HDD plus. But if it's not then change it to that. Um, and yeah just write. And yes continue again before you do anything remember to back up everything um, yeah so let's just click on yes now this shouldn't take very long it's, it, ta it only takes a couple of minutes as this is happening I just wanted to quickly say a couple of things first of all I haven't been making much videos because you know in a time like this where we're all quarantined and stuck at home I mean I'm not really in the mood of making much videos I mean, I'm just going a bit crazy, you know, over the past couple of days. I'm going to be making short, simple videos like these. Hope you guys are also staying safe at home. Um, you know, just be careful. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully this ends soon. This quarantine, coronavirus thing. We'll all get through it together. But, um, as you can see, it's starting to write. It's actually really quick because, again, as I said, it's only a couple hundred megabytes. So, if you go like a 2 gig USB drive, that's more than enough. Alright guys, so it's nearly done here. Um, yeah, it's actually done right now. So that's basically all you need to do. It was actually really quick. Um, so you just click close and you're done. So um, go over to your computer and here it is right here. It will be for it will be named admin tool for SRS, you know, whatever. So I'm using Samsung Recovery Solution 5, so it will also give you this icon. And as you can see, everything's all here. Now I'm going to shut down the computer. I'm going to shut down the computer and then I'll be right back once this is starting to load up. Alright guys, so the laptop's just booted and as soon as it boots, just click escape. So you can get the uh, menu to whichever drive you want to load. So... As you can see it says HP, USB, HDD, just click enter. And yeah, this is what it will start saying. So it's going to say Windows is loading files and then it will say starting Windows. Don't worry, it's not loading Windows, it's actually loading the HP. Um, it's actually loading the uh, admin tool. Okay, so it's all starting up now, and here we go, look, Samsung Recovery Solution 5. Now, this isn't installed, this is the admin tool. Again, I just keep saying that. Okay, and we're in. So, basically, this is what the admin tool uh, will look like. Let me just zoom in a bit here. Now, it'll say disk partitioning and install recovery area, install windows. Now, don't touch any of this until, you know, you, um, I'm back with the next video because something could really screw up here and then you'll have to uh, reinstall windows and start the whole thing all over again. Now, you do not want that. So, just boot it up and see if it's all working. And to exit out of here, just click the X button and exit program okay so that's basically it guys thank you guys very much for watching um, this is a quick video for those people like me who really need to do this and can't find any good videos on YouTube sorry about that about how to reinstall Samsung recovery solution um, so again thank you guys very much for watching stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video